D, go, go, you go get her yourself. Go in there and get her yourself. Go get her, D. Deanna, go get her. Go get her. Go, I don't want her to, go. Go. Go get her. No, I want you guys to be surprised at the same time. Yeah. Go. I'll bring it. I'm not going to tell you. If I have to tell you one more time, I'm leaving. I will leave. Go. Aubrey, Diana. Aubrey, Diana. Where's Aubrey? I'm taking some video. Like, I'm videotaping you. Um, are you gonna clap too? Yeah, I'm anxious to hear about this story. And Finley, please be careful. And the baby bear. Finley, you are worrying me. Mommy, are you gonna take pictures? <coughs> yeah, I'm videotaping. And the baby bear had a heart. Oh. For someone. With little hearts on it. That, that didn't have Once upon a time. Yeah. O. N. C. Are you watching, mommy? E. Then the heart. Once upon. Mommy. Upon is you. Mommy, are you listening? Yes. P. Then the house. Then the heart. O. Mommy, are you listening? at the door. Somebody's at the door? Hold on. Now just calm down. Don't run. Don't run. Now just stop. Who could it be? I have no idea. Go ahead. <gasps> Who is it? It's Daddy! What? Well, I was supposed to 
supposed to, but I found out that I was coming home early. Thank you. But this is a surprise. Yes! This is a surprise. Are you shocked? She peed everywhere. <laughs> oh, BB. She's so happy. Oh, Mama. Your daddy's home. Don't pee on me. Oh, she's so happy. Did you go clothes shopping already? What's up, Dad? How are you here? <laughs> Magic. Oh, oh. oh Dad. Hey. <laughs> that scary? No. No, it was literally magic. 11-year-old Emily Anderson and her 17-year-old sister Caitlin have been without their dad for the past 10 months while he's been stationed in Iraq. They thought he wasn't coming home for another two months. But today, they got a very special surprise while they were in school. For the better part of a year, Sherry Anderson and her five daughters have been without her soldier husband, Jeremy, a helicopter mechanic with the 834th Aviation Unit. He actually missed their graduation. They graduated in prom and um, moving them to college. He got out of that, too. <laughs> Sherry and Jeremy initially told all their daughters that he would be deployed for a year in the hopes of surprising them with an early return. We all kind of found out, and she was mad about it, but <laughs> we helped her out, so we were sniffing and figuring it out. Darn! I can't keep any secrets. Yeah, no. <laughs> she, she's a good House full of girls, you can't keep any secrets. <laughs> the older three became part of the plot to surprise their younger sisters. Monday, Sherry drove to Fort Hood, Texas to pick up Jeremy and then back to Tulsa in time to surprise Emily at Haskell Middle School. So where's Emily Anderson at? Now this husband and father is home just in time for the holidays. Just being away and knowing that, you know, you can't be there for special little events and stuff like that that they're doing and, you know, something breaks, <laughs> you know, out there to fix it. With almost his entire family reunited, there's just one more stop for Sergeant Anderson to make. A visitor for you all for your Thanksgiving story. Come on in. Oh, oh my God. God. At Broken Arrow High School to surprise his daughter, Caitlin. I was really shocked. Like, I didn't know he was coming till two months, so it was amazing. Anderson's unit doesn't have any immediate plans to deploy again, so he'll also be spending the Christmas holiday with them as well. Reporting from Broken Arrow, Casey Roebuck, 2 News Works for you. <laughs> it's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hello, Susie. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I got a surprise for you. <laughs>